Hi, welcome everyone to another episode of Lee Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. So now I'm showing you another top tier deck which is easily king of game potential and I hope that you guys can enjoy it and use it. Do remember to give a like, subscribe and follow me on Facebook for more videos, uploads and updates. So remember to check out my Disciple of Ra in another video, it's very spicy. So without further ado, let's get on with the deck list. So we have two, 3 Galeator Luck Curry because it's a bitter, the higher attack monster in Galeator deck, so 3 of them. 1 Bistiri because its effect is to destroy a spell or trap if it is special summon and another two of Mamino a special effect is to destroy any one monster if it's special summon and two Dimakari and a special effect is to have a double attack if it's special summon one Cosmic Cyclone to deal against Happy Ladies Hunting Ground or any other uh, spell or trap cards that you think that will do harm to you three enemy controller is always good against Cyber Angel. Do you follow till the end of the video as there is a Cyber Angel beat down on that replay. 2 Floodgate to cancel out any high beta to put them face down. 2 Impenetrable attack so your monster can not be destroyed by battle or by card effect during the battle phase. 2 Wall Disruption to protect your front row and just one straight flush for my tech card. This is just a tech card that you know for more destroy destroying the back row as there is a lot of burn decks going on in the meta so you know you, it's always good to have straight flush and I have three of this fusion special summon Nerakus so a special effect is that if a special summon I need to special summon any three Galeator monster on the field to special fusion summon this guy and during the battle stage, my opponent cannot activate any cards or effect until the end of the damage step. So it's pretty good against cards like, you know, Man Interbub or against any spell or trap. So that's why we are running Mind Scan. So if we need to use him, we will special summon him. And at the end of battle phase, if this card is attacked or uh, is attacking, I can return it back to my Astra deck and special summon 2 gladiator for more destroying effect and just 2 of these gladiator beasts as a dairy not much of an effect on him it's just a more bit down so without further ado let's go on to the replay as you can see I played this deck from legend rank 1 to 2 easily with lots of win along the way so hope you guys can enjoy the success as I did Honestly, I hate facing across Gladiator deck because they are a pain in the ass. It's so hard to deal with. A lot of people is running with life cost zero, but to me, my scan is pretty good. As you can see, hardly my life goes below three below three thousand. So the first replay, I'm gonna show you just a very simple matchup against a, I would say a normal tier deck. I did not face any meta deck like Ninja or AG along the way. So I started off with two pretty brick hand but I got some defensive countermeasure and he's using the balance which is a ancient deck. So I just set three cards for protection and just summon more fresh assassin, dimension gate, gateway to chaos, bring out one of the strength Gaia and storm don't say I didn't tell you he target two card but luckily I have this impenetrable attack which allows me to stay healthy forever take no damage during the battle stage so now my luck curry is here it's time for the turn around attack him and I know this is a shift Gaia and I do a calculation if I destroy this guy and shift guy is playing 300 minus 1600 I will, he will left with 700 life point so why not so sometimes you have to do a lot of mathematics when you are using wall of disruption or mirror wall. So I wall disruption 
and he turned to 700 like I predicted. Don't say I didn't tell you. And as of now, I did another smart move because if this flip up, he can summon another shift Gaia, which I never want it to happen. So I bring out the next best theory, Galiator. Best theory to destroy it. I have an open fear. I attack. He left with no card. It's pretty much GG from here. I just special summon those beta usually if I face an empty uh, field like Lakari and Dimakari is always good and he surrender. So as you can see the power of this deck is always there and it's very good. So this is not a mirror match. It's just like my scan versus my scan. See who's my is better. And quite surprisingly he's using a uh, I believe it's Red Eye Zombie deck, so it kind of surprised me. I was thinking he's using Cyber Angel or any other deck. So I open up with three monster, one floodgate. It's always good to defend. So he Red Eye inside, Red Eye Zombie back to his hand, Red Eye Spirit, and with my scan, honestly, you can detect your play very carefully and very precisely with precision so that's one fear spell that I need to worry about so I turn to floodgate because I know he will commit suicide with me which I don't want it to happen so I have my econ as as well he tribute summon steal my luckery but it's okay I just leave it there and red eye spirit and this is the end of the main phrase the reason why I activate my enemy controller to defense position is to prevent any anti-magic error so you know this is just some smart play and he used red eye spirit to summon his red eye vibrant to me it's a bad move but who cares as long as i'm winning so now i have the best terry and the makari so i'll just attack change both of them and one of them definitely i will be using Mamino to destroy the red eye zombie and turn the face down because I have no bad road to protect myself and luck one Lakari just for the power. So he has he drawn to no card and it's pretty much GG from here. I just came on changing to so as I say when you are against an open field, always remember to just get these two guy out. The Makari or Lakari. Lakari. This two is the is the only choice you can do because if you summon a special summon the other rest you must destroy something which is not good. So I believe this this win is against Cyber Angel. And it's pretty fun because we both read each other mind and just see who has the better gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the Discipline of Ra. Subscribe for more uploads and updates and follow me on Facebook. So Cyber PRT Angel, Corp Eater 10, no worries about that. Set up Econ. I just use the Makari, be aggressive. Don't be afraid to, you know, not to attack unless it's a counter card. So Econ me. It's okay because I have my own back row. So not to worry. He Cyber and PRT Angel again. Call up the Ben 10 E to 10 combo. And use this uh Machine Absolute Reacher. I'm lucky that he did Okay, this is a warning or just a heads up for Cyber Angel player. Remember to throw one machine angel reacher cut into the graveyard because it helps to protect your monster for one turn but for him I think he, he did some misplay here and there so he used a machine angel reacher try to get the kini out and take always take note if he activates in fact he does he contribute take destroy himself he did not dare to attack me because of wall disruption so my luck carry is out front gate is out and I use Mamilo effect, turn it to face up because I know next turn anything he throw to me 
I can deal with Floodgate and I can deal with Wall of Disruption. So it's okay for me. As I say, he has one Machine Angel Reacher and he did not use it. So it's pretty bad on his side because he should just use Machine Angel Reacher rather than the other one. So I just came out attacking, protecting my back row. And Lakari is out, Dimakari is out. This is the combo when you're facing empty field. Remember that? So now he's still using Machine Angel Reacher. Try to use the Kini, but but he has no effect activated. So I forget it. I don't want anything to do with it. I attack it just to you know sup up my players. So I of course with one monster, Mamino is out. So as I say again, there's no machine injury reacher. He's gone. And Lakari is up. So he did not say anything and now I call. I want to OTK him, so that's why I did not call my big boss. I just call the Azadari, special summon him up, and OTK. Easy peasy like a cheesy juicy. Honestly, I don't really like Galliator deck, but after you know playing this deck, I kind of love them <laughs> because they are so easy to win. And you know, but although you have to play really well, concentrate. So this deck, I really highly recommend you guys to use it. So Fratgate and against a uh, Yasha player, so he tribute summon me and just trying to destroy me. So it's a Phoenix player. Let's see who has a last laugh. Definitely it's me because if not, it will be in the replay. So the Makari to empty fear, sub up Lakari. Lukari or Lakari. So he has one super hit rush. I cosmic cyclone it, which is a bad move. Honestly, I should cosmic cyclone fire King Island to have an empty field to attack. This is a poor move from the boy here, so don't follow that. Learn, learn from the, my mistake and be a better player. So same old trick, he did what you know he does best. Tribute and destroy to get Fire Ancient and Fire King, Yasha. I forget it. I got nothing. I need to be protected by Econ, which I feel comfortable with. Because I'm not sure when Phoenix is coming out, so I did not set a lot of bad roll. This is one thing that you need to know and I just Econ now because I have one protection and Lakari is out attack him a Bolong which is pretty irritating so he attacked me now but impenetrable attack I bounce off his attack and I summon Basteri because I never loved Econ never in my life I loved Econ so I destroy it straight away and I turn it to face down and I summon Lakari. So this is how you shuffle your deck and trying to protect yourself forever. So I have two monster here because I'm afraid of Bola so I did not special summon here. So sometimes you have to play well, you have you can be cocky but you know just manage yourself well. Bestari to Dimatari. So now he summoned another one, but I always have a back row to defend myself. As of this point, he knows it's GG. I don't want to risk anything because there's still a bola maybe on his hand, so I just go for the OTK. So this is the last game that I'm gonna show you. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. That will be all for today's video. So just check all my other videos out. They are nice and spicy and fun to play. So another my scan against my scan. This is the top skill that people use. So be sure to make use of this my scan. Duel. So I have this straight flash, which I can't really show you any replay, which is a re regret because I did not deal with any. Beaver deck or any harpies or whatsoever. 
So it's against an cyber injured deck. So machine injured Witcher out in the first turn. And straight away the Ben 10 is out. I was like, okay, another different play. But I have Econ, I have my Dimakari to special summon my Mamilo. And there you go. <laughs> Cyber Angel run of cards. <laughs> but he has his machine Angel Reacher to defend him. But not to worry. I can do this now. Turn the face down, attack him. Empty Fear, attack him. Change this to Lakari. Or the Makari, the other one to Lakari. And pretty much it's gone case for him. I'm not sure did he surrender in this round. And here comes the kitty. It's okay, I have two heroes here. So he activates his effect. He tried to attack me, but impenetrable attack. My hero survived, and guess who's up? Mamilo in face up attack position. So, another empty fear now. I just set for well, disruption, and it's time to show off some skill. Just attack him for fun and GG. Okay, there you go. Hope you guys enjoy the videos that I upload today. Remember to give a like, have your comments down below, subscribe. And follow me on my Facebook for more updates and uploads. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Signing off and peace.